Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Storytime. It's Miss Morgan here, and today we are going to be talking about grandparents. So since Sunday, September 13th, is National Grandparents Day, we are going to be talking about that and celebrating everything that has to do with grandparents. So let's go ahead and start with our welcome song, okay? The more we get together, are we ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Now the more we read together. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. With big books and small books, with short books and tall books, the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Very good job. So our first song about grandparents is three little grandkids jumping on the bed. So I know when your grandparents come over, when you go to their house, they kind of let you do whatever they want because they're their grandparents and they love us. And I know my grandmother used to let me jump all over the bed, but it didn't always turn out so good. And that's the same thing that's gonna happen with these kids, okay? So let me see, put up three fingers so we get ready to count. Ready? Three little grandkids jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Grandma called the doctor and the doctor said, no more grandkids jumping on the bed. How many grandkids do we have left now? Two, very good. Two little grandkids jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Grandma called the doctor and the doctor said, no more grandkids jumping on the bed. Okay, so we started off with three and now we only have one left, one little grandkid. One little grandkid jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Grandma called the doctor and the doctor said, no more grandkids jumping on the bed. Oh no, so I know we love jumping on the bed, but we can't bump our head, can we? No, that'd be dangerous. No, no, no. All right, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, sit so still. If you're ready for a story, sit so still. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, sit so still. Very good. So let's get our listening ears ready. Where are those listening ears? Show them to me. Very good. Oh. And where are those looking eyes so that we're paying attention to the story? Let me see them. Oh, very cool glasses, guys. Very good. So, our book today is called The Great Grand Plan. And it is about a story about trying to save grandma from the big bad wolf. Raise your hand if you would try to save your grandma or your grandpa from the big bad wolf. I know I would. We have to keep grandma and grandpa safe, don't we? Yes, we do. So let's see what they're going to do to save her. The pig had a house in the wild, wild wood. It was safe, it was strong, it was snug, it was good. So when the bad wolf started howling and prowling and skulking and scowling and grizzling and growling, the pig said, Old wolf, you can blow till you're blue, but you'll not break my house down, whatever you do. The wolf simply glared, then slunk slowly away. But there on the pathway the very next day, the pig found a note that said, top secret plan. 
eat the three little pigs. <gasps> he scratched it out, so I think he did that. Oh no. <gasps> Number two, gobble Red Riding Hood's grand, nice and hot. <gasps> oh no. Can't let him get grand. No! cried the pig. Oh, my trusty old trotter, that stinky old flea bag, that wily old rotter. And he leaped to the wheel of his rusty old van, crying, pig to the rescue. Let me hear everybody say, save that grand. I'll snatch him, I'll catch him, that wolf won't escape. But first, what I need is a super pig cape. So he dashed through the town, so he came to a stall. They hadn't a cape but they gave him a shawl. Then he leaped to the wheel of his rusty old van, crying, pig to the rescue. Let me hear you say, save that grin. Now I'll have to be sneaky. I might have to spy. Binoculars. Yes, I should give them a try. So he dashed to the shop and there weren't any. But he did find some rather fine specks, the last pair. Then he leaped the, to the wheel of his rusty old van, crying, Pig to the rescue! Save that grin! Do you think these glasses will help? I don't know. I'll swoop on that wolfie. I'll hoop him, my hope. But now what I need is some lovely strong rope. So he dashed to the city. The shops were so full, and the rope was sold out. But he did find some wool. Then he ran to the wheel of his rusty old van, crying, Pig to the rescue! Save that grin! But just as he came to the edge of the wood, he stopped most abruptly. As there the wolf stood. Red Riding Hood's granny, well, how do you do? Strangely enough, I've been searching for you. Although I admit that it's quite a surprise, You've such a strange nose and such small piggy eyes. Grand, thought the pig, and he took a long look. Oh, does he look like a grandma here? A little bit, he's got granny glasses, a oh, granny shawl, and the, the yarn. Yeah, that's kind of granny-like. Then he quivered and quaked, and he shivered and shook. The wolf eyed him up and snarled, mmm, nice and plump. Not old and not chewy, just look at that rump. You taste rather rare in a roll, I would bet. And he lunged at the pig, but then down came a net. <gasps> what was this? <gasps> That's the real granny. And there in the wood was Red Riding Hood's grand who cried, Think we can't catch you? You bet that we can. You wicked old wolf, you may huff, you may puff, but I'm telling you now, I've had quite enough. Then she tied up the wolf from his nose to his tail, and together they took him and dropped him in jail. Thanks, cried the pig, but the grand said, thank you. That wolf would have minced me for gray granny stew. And linking together, they danced out a jig, the wolf busting gran and the clever young pig. Yes, they both said, we're an excellent team. And the wolf never came there again, it would seem. I like that one. He didn't really save Granny. Granny kind of saved him. They worked together. They worked together. So our last song to show how much we love our grandparents is Skin of a Rink. So if I can see you do this along with me. Very good. Skin of a Rink, a dink, a dink. Skin of a Rink, a do. I love you. Skin a marink a dink a dink, skin a marink a do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Skin a marink a dink a dink, skin a marink a do. I love you. Everyone tell their grandparents how much they love them. Say, I love you. Give them a big hug. Oh, and a big old kiss. Mwah! 
and happy grandparents day thank you so much for joining me i'll see you next week bye